Hi, we're Ox Sable Embers. Hi, my name is Mike Burns, and I play guitar and sing for Ox Sable Embers. When it comes to Mike musically, I think he's one of the luckiest parts about our band, because when it comes to vocally, he's just one of the most talented kids I've ever met. Mike, musically talented-wise, he's so talented, like, doing what he does on guitar and then, like, singing at the same time, and he's an amazing vocalist. Amazing overall musician. His talent level is out of this world. <laughs> Hi, my name is Aaron Shuck and I play drums for the band Oxay Blumbers. When we were having trouble with drummers, I uh, called him up to see what he was doing musically and he wasn't really doing anything so I kind of just kept calling him and calling him until he decided to come over and practice with us and then it kind of just meshed really well and we jammed for about a week and then had a show like the following week. Actually we had three shows. Aaron musically is one of the best drummers I've ever played with. He's not repetitive at all, he's really creative, and he's just an overall awesome drummer. Aaron's a really nice guy. He's really cool to work with. Hi, my name is Steve Zafino, and I play bass for Rock Sable Lumbers. And like, it's amazing to be in a band with a very talented bassist because a lot of people they just kind of do it to do it and like they don't put it, like their heart to it and Steve like wow like he's so dedicated in doing what needs to be done. We started playing music together in about January of this year 2007 and um, I don't know we kind of just like meshed really well we just, we're having a good time and he's always really like up for doing anything, so he's really easy to work with. Um, when I first met Steve, like, he, uh, like, I was kind of intimidated by him a little bit, just because he's the fierce Italian, but, like, just getting to know him a little bit, like, he's seriously one of the nicest guys I've ever met, like, if you need anything done, he'll sit there and drop whatever he's doing to, like, help somebody out. Ah, uh, good old Steve. We started back in January, I think. Right? Yeah, so, just fine. January. Um, it all started just me and one of our friends and Steve just wanted to get together and jam and start something up. Just because I recently quit like my old band. That's pretty much just how it got started. It was just at, at first it was just for fun. We were just jamming, but it ended up turning out to be something a lot bigger. Iron Sun done. Probably around August, because we went without a drummer for a good two and a half months when Ricky left the band without really saying anything before we really had any time to pick up a new drummer, so. Yeah, and before that, we were doing, like, acoustic shows, like, for two and a half months straight, so when I first found out Aaron wanted to, like, join, I called him, like, every single day yeah, just to get him to... Really pestering, <laughs> and that's why I finally just kind of said, okay, I'll give it a try. Just he because Mike up. called me like every single day and it was ridiculous. Playing with boys like girls wasn't because we played any big shows and they got to us. It was just like lucky they just finally asked us. So. Yeah, and I don't know. It was, it was kind of like we were just, we didn't really plan it, obviously. It was kind of just like all the shows we did before were just like, preparation I guess and it definitely paid off like for like the what two and a half months we the three of us have been yeah. together yeah we've been together for like two, two and, and a half, half months, months so for something like that to come along is pretty big for us it's really really I felt like it went amazingly like I thought it was our best show yet yeah I feel sure. that I feel that the show went really well too and I feel that like for sound wise and quality wise it's been the best place that we've ever been to. And just like the exposure we got from like all the people since it was a sold out show with like uh, over 2,000 people there definitely 
widespread our music to a majority of people that aren't from this area, so it is some good. When it comes to like how people view us as being a younger band, like I've had a couple interviews and for the most part it's positive. Like for our age we usually get like good like critiques for it. Like for the show at the rave yesterday we were basically the younger band that youngest band there so well it's usually all positive so yeah and like with uh with the cd review we got from uh absolutepunk.net they uh clearly stated that people our age shouldn't be able to form music together so tight and like such at a high quality compared to a lot of other cds that they review so i mean it just goes to prove that age really doesn't matter with talent yeah mm -hmm. As soon as like we started playing shows like a week after we started playing with each other things just kind of took off and yeah definitely it was a whole lot of fun just trying to put the pressure on and like playing a bunch of shows like not after practicing with each other a lot and we got so tight so quick yeah. just trying to reach anyone who likes the music i mean we're not gonna pinpoint one group of people whoever can relate is who we want to so yeah we're pretty much just trying to have a good time and hopefully people can come out and have a good time with us and just enjoy our music and just, you know, have fun. Bye.